How many times have you been in a big tournament, gotten lobbed and lost the point? How do you defend the lob? Guys and ladies, thank you so much for watching. Please comment, please subscribe, and have a good day. What are some of the biggest mistakes players make on a lob defense? Here's one, running back and trying to drive the ball. Now, can Rosti make the shot? Yes, I've seen him, but the higher percentage shot is a drop cross court. Note to self, that is no reason to run back with your partner when you are lobbed. Here is a good illustration. This is textbook coverage of a lob defense. And I'll put this in slow motion, but it is perfect. Point number one, only one person has to run back if a good drop is hit. If you hit a bad drop return, yell back, back, back to your partner. Communication is key. There is no reason to run more than you have to in a tournament. Point number two, if you can't hit an overhead, it may be going out. And this is a very good lob defense that hit an overheads. And if you think it's gonna be a really difficult overhead, it's probably going out. So be smart, don't hit out balls. I cannot tell you how many out balls I hit when I'm watching videos of myself. So make life simple. This is a great lob defense and the man in orange should throw a lob cross court. It's higher percentage. He knows he screwed up, you know? If you make your opponents pay for giving you overheads, you're not gonna get as many. If you look more closely at this point, it's amazing. I'm gonna put this in slow motion. Just a great lob defense. His partner stays at the kitchen. He hits a good drop. Communication is key, people on the lob. Trust that your partner is going to hit a good drop. Stay at the kitchen, listen to him, and if he doesn't, he'll let you know. This is such an incredible point, and I'll put it in slow motion, but what happened? What really happened on this point? And Ernie was faked in order to draw an overhead, and this guy, everyone knows who this guy is, but he's playing his opponent like a puppet. And that's what you need to do in pickleball. Be a step ahead. You know, that playing checkers, you're playing chess. It was a kitchen violation, and I'm going to show you exactly why later in this video. But here's another example of faking the Ernie to draw the overhead. I never really even thought about this before I watched tape of all these lob videos. And guys, please subscribe. This took a really long time. Ladies, please subscribe too. We need woman subscribers. This is just a great illustration of faking an Ernie to draw a lob. I'm going to do this a lot more in tournament play. These are pros and they are doing this. So we should be doing this too. So when your partner is dinking, you can be a decoy. Now this point was not a kitchen violation. His foot hits the tape. He reestablishes both feet and hits a beautiful overhead, but it does happen a lot. I'm telling you, it happens all the time. And here's why. What is wrong with this picture? Another kitchen violation. Lots of tennis players are taught the scissor kick. And that's the scissor kick. When you do the scissor kick, your left foot goes in the kitchen. If you're right-handed, it happens. This is what you should be doing when you hit the overhead. Use that left hand, the off hand to balance you. It will make you stay out of the kitchen. Don't do that scissor kick when you're right at the kitchen. If you're going back, it's fine. If you have a bad shoulder, use the sky hook. Mark hits a sky hook there. And I'll put this whole point in slow motion because a sky hook is very effective. It can be offensive. It's not just defensive. Lydia hits another sky hook. If it's a well hit overhead, deeper in this court, this will give you a little more time to hit it. And you can get a lot of power on this shot. Look at that. That's to win the match. It's like a cream Abdul Jabbar sky hook in basketball. So next time you're on the rec court, hopefully today, try it. And here's another example. It works, especially when you're backpedaling. Just very effective. I would recommend you try it when you're playing pickleball today on the rec court.
that is one more shot I recommend you hit. It's almost like a backhand overhead flick. Badminton players are really good at it. Tennis players do it pretty well. But this is another great shot for lob defense. Guys and ladies, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to keep the videos coming. Please leave your comments and have a good day.